Hi, I'm Vikram Gore and you're watching Motoscribes. We're out in beautiful Goa at a nice, beautiful destination called Capo de Rama and we've got an even hotter car with us. This is the all-new Skoda Slavia. We have been driving it around all day here in Goa and it's a vehicle that's delighted us in just about every department. Let me tell you everything you need to know about the Slavia in this video. When it comes to the design of the Skoda Slavia, I think the guys at Skoda have done an excellent job in creating a vehicle that's rather proportionate, it's nice and big, it sits really well on its 16-inch wheels, and it's got this beautiful, sporty, yet elegant stance. Obviously, key design elements include uh, the telltale Skoda grille up front, uh, you've got these beautiful projector headlights as well, and uh, the crystalline elements that Skoda is very proud of in all their designs, whether it's their SUVs or their larger sedans as well, can be found on the new Slavia too. You see it up front, you see it at the back, you see it in the tail lights, and overall the edges, the surfaces, the treatment to the overall design is something that just wins you over. This is a car that you just love staring at, and I think that's a winning factor for Skoda right there. The cabin of the Skoda Slavia has been done up with premium materials, the surfaces are great, uh, you get a dual tone look as well as some really interesting uh, touches that only a Skoda can carry. Uh, the highlight for me being that nice Skoda branding uh, along the casing for the digital instrument cluster, I thought that looked really fantastic on the Slavia. As far as equipment is concerned, uh, you get a 20.32 cm uh, Skoda Virtual Cockpit. It's a completely digital screen there for you uh, to access a plethora of information. You get a 25.4 cm infotainment screen uh, which comes with all the Skoda Play apps. You've got your connectivity, you've got your uh, music control, everything integrated into this. It's an absolutely fantastic device, works really smooth and is really nice to touch as well. Skoda has given a little utility access on the dash which again is nice for you to store small knickknacks, uh, vouchers, payments, you know, stuff like that. They've also given it ambient lighting. You get a, a climatronic controlled AC, uh, wireless charging with two USB type C sockets. You've got uh, ventilated black leather front seats. And you also get these nice chrome touches to the cabin to bring out that premiumness. It's a very spacious cabin. Uh, the Slavia is a big car, so up front in the rear, uh, wherever you are seated, you will find that you have a lot of space and uh, I think that's definitely something that Skoda has paid attention to to ensure because this segment is all about space and features and they've carried it out with the land. They've given this car everything. As far as the engine options on the Slavia are concerned, both the engines that Skoda is going to be offering the sedan with are engines that we've seen before on the Kushak. So you get the 1 liter uh, TSI engine as well as the 1.5 liter TSI engine. The 1 liter makes about 115 PS of power, while the 1.5 makes 150 PS of power. The car that we have with us here today, uh, right now, is the 1.5 and uh, we are actually gotten our hands on the 1 litre as well, so we will be telling you a little bit about that further down in this video. But uh, as of now, the 1.5 is the one that we've been charging around with uh, earlier this morning and it is a vehicle that is just so spirited to drive. You get a brilliant sense uh, behind the wheel. It's a, a lot of fun. You can really uh, gun that engine and uh, you feel that peppiness. You feel it unleashing all those horses and you get up to three digit speeds uh, like nobody's business. When we're talking about sedans in this segment in the country, uh, you really don't have anything else out there that delivers this level of uh, refinement and performance. 
uh, that we're talking about. And I think that that is really something that uh, Skoda has played their card really well on. And uh, my choice would be the 1.5, uh, obviously, because 150 PS of power, you can't say no to that. And uh, going back to uh, the engine and transmission setups, uh, the one liter gets uh, a six-speed manual and a six-speed automatic while the 1.5 gets a 6-speed manual and uh, if you were looking for the automatic this one comes with the 7-speed DSG as well. Being behind the wheel of the Slavia is an experience by itself. It's a very composed machine. I think Skoda has done a grand job in terms of suspension setup to ensure you've got uh, maximum control while it soaks up road undulations uh, to perfection. So. You can fly around corners, it's very comfortable, the ride quality is something that you do want to ride home about and at the same time, uh, you're really happy that you've got a rather responsive uh, steering wheel as well. So, it's a fun car to drive, it's very sporty and I think that pretty much sums up what this car is about. You're getting a really sporty sedan that delivers on all counts and it's great for your family too. So as I had mentioned, the Slavia does come with two engine options and I spoke about the 1.5 litre which is my personal favourite and uh, it still remains my personal favourite even after driving around in the 1 litre version as well that I have over here. But having said that, this 1 litre engine that delivers 115 PS of power is also a rather refined mill. You get the TSI technology, it's right up there in terms of refinement, it's silent and it is quite peppy as well. So this will be bringing up uh, the lower end of the range uh, for the Slavia. So your, your entry level uh, variant, your mid-level variants, they're all gonna get the one liter engine. And uh, along with that, you obviously get a slight benefit on fuel efficiency over the 1.5. But uh, having said that, both the engines are rather efficient. I think that's the brilliance of TSI technology. And uh, the one liter is the one that you want if you're gonna be having the Slavia as your 90% sort of city runabout and maybe 10% out for a brilliant sort of uh, road trip. But, uh, and you're looking for a perfect all-rounder. The one liter does the trick for you on that front. Safety is obviously at the top of the list for Skoda and they've not disappointed on this front at all. Uh, the Slabia comes with up to six airbags and on the top models that includes the side curtain bags as well. Uh, you've obviously got your ABS, you've got uh, electronic brake force distribution, you've got traction control. Uh, it even comes with something called electronic differential lock and uh, you also get uh, rain sensing and light sensors. Uh, you've got brake disc wiping, hill hold control and electronic stability control. Over and above that, it's been built tough. You can tell just by the way the door shut that it is built of quality materials. It feels nice and heavy. It's got that sense of German built quality that you would expect from a Volkswagen Group product. So there you have it. Two variants of the Skoda Slavia, the one liter and the 1.5 liter TSI. Both of them delightful machines to drive. They have their own a uh, little subset category that they cater to and uh, what you get is a beautifully packaged machine that's uh, fun to drive, very composed on the road and uh, depending on even which variant you go for, you get a lot of the same features in there. So uh, Skoda has done their homework really well. I think uh, both variants uh, are going to be catering to a rather wide audience out there. We think that Skoda does have a winner on their hands.